All right, good morning, Crim One. Happy Thursday, November 30th. Quiz four. Um, I'm gonna review kind of quickly for this because hopefully you actually came to class. Most of you actually did. So on Tuesday, because I already reviewed for it on Tuesday, so I'm gonna do kind of a once over. And um, then uh, Mr. Stevens is going to give you your quiz and you're gonna take your quiz and you're gonna write your name on it, right? Wait, right here, right here. Write your name on it. You know who I'm talking to. Uh, write your name on it and then turn it in and then have an awesome weekend. And then I will see you next week for the final exam on Thursday, uh, December 7th at 8 a.m. Um, I'm going to come back today, later on today, pick these up and grade them. So I will still have these graded tonight, uh, t Thursday. It's actually Wednesday when I'm recording this, but you know what I mean. Um, so I'll have them graded. I am going to review quickly because we already reviewed for this and you should know the answers already. Okay. So, um, are most jails uh, municipal or regional facilities operated by local agencies? Mm, yeah, I think they probably are. Um, who can be held in jail? What kind of offenders are held in jails? Do you guys remember this? I hope you do. Um, but it's not just misdemeanors. If you'll remember, we talked about everybody can be in jail. Like, ev not everybody, but everybody who gets arrested. You could have a murderer next to um, a person who is drunk in public. So everybody goes to jail. So it's not just felons or misdemeanors that are in jail. So then I guess the next question, who is in prison? Hopefully you'll remember that we said sentenced felons only are in prison. So um, United States houses what percentage of the world's uh, prisoners? This says 50%. Would that be true or false? Hopefully there's somebody in class right now saying that's false because we talked about that. It's 25%. Um, does the design of a prison have any impact on its safety? Um, going back to talking about, um, we talked about uh, supermax prisons versus minimum security prisons. Do you think the design of those prisons has any impact on whether or not uh, the impact is secure? Yeah, of course it does. Okay, classification, would this be true or false? Is the determination of which inmates go to which institutions and the specific conditions under which they will be, be con confined? It sounds like a perfect uh, definition of the classification term to me. Um, in order to be, uh, become a correctional officer at CDCR, do you need to have a bachelor's degree? Hopefully somebody's screaming out, not screaming, don't scream. I don't think Mr. Stevens would like that, but hopefully somebody's saying right now, no, you don't have to have a bachelor's degree. You don't have to have any kind of degree right now to be a correctional officer at CDCR. Uh, do you remember the hands-off doctrine? So the hands-off doctrine, remember, was a time when prisoners did not have the opportunity to sue the prisons. That was a time when the courts took a hands-off approach and um, would not allow the prisoners to sue the prisons. So prisoners were kind of on their own and the courts were not getting involved at all, okay? Um, we talked about prisonization versus institutionalization. So this one's a little bit trickier. If you remember, prisonization, that's kind of more of like a survival mode when a person goes into prison and they become accustomed to um, the prison lifestyle, okay? So that's kind of more of a survival mode. Institutionalization is when a person goes to prison and they become so used to the prison uh, taking care of them and doing everything for them that when they get out, they are institutionalized and they have a really hard time taking care of themselves. Makes sense? So there's kind of a difference between those two things. So that's a question. So answer that. Okay. Inmate subculture. Uh, that would be something that would be like the norms, beliefs, and values that are developed among prisoners. I would say that would be a good definition. 
Is violence common in prison? That's a no-brainer question. You know, of course, that it is. We talked about administrative segregation and uh, disciplinary segregation and the fact that they are different things. So if you're administrative uh, segregation, typically you're being put um, kind of in a solitary confinement type of situation because you need protection. Uh, disciplinary segregation is different. Usually it's because people are acting a fool, for lack of a better term. But uh, they're dangerous to themselves, to others. Uh, they're attacking the inmates. They're attacking staff. So they're being disciplined. So that's why they're being kept separate. Uh, do Would it be fair to say that women make up about 45% of state and federal prisoners? It says prisons on the on the quiz, but act like it says prisoners. No, they do not make up that many. Uh, we talked about special populations uh, in prison. So people in prison who m might require additional services while they're in prison for whatever reason. That could be, um, they could be drug offenders, they could be physically ill, they could be mentally ill, they could be pregnant, they could be handicapped, uh, they could be sex offenders, they could be transgender, they could be um, homosexual. All of those things that I just listed to you would be an example of a special population in prison, and I need you to list three. Uh, probation and parole, what's the difference? You'll remember that we talked about how one gets to probation or parole or gets ends up placed on probation or parole was a big difference. Um, parole, early release from prison. Probation, sentenced by a judge. Uh, what are some conditions of probation? We talked about this. Um, obey all laws, report to your probation officer when notified, don't drink, don't use alcohol, be employed, go to school, all those kind of things. You just have to come up with a few of those. Um, I already talked about that one. Uh, shock probation. Do you remember what that is? Um, anyways, hopefully you're going to read this one and you're going to remember the discussion that we had the other day. Okay. And remember the chart that, that uh, I showed you on Tuesday. The majority of offenders, would this be true or false, of offenders um, on probation are white men. Nationwide. Remember, it was nationwide. True or false? Hopefully somebody is um, is uh, telling you all the answer to this right now that remembers the discussion last week. So, okay, that's it. Write your name on it, um, turn it in, uh, hit the road after you're done, and I will grade them today. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and be good for Mr. Stevens. Thank you, Mr. Stevens. Okay, bye guys.